welcome to Mark Watson! Hi! What? Yeah! What? Woo! Yeah, yeah, you've got that right! Woo! Hi! Hi. Uh, well, I'm drinking. It's, uh, it's really late. And, I mean, that's not, that's not why, that's just incidental. I, um, I generally am drinking these days. I've had one or two problems. It's, um, also, I'm, uh, well, I'm British. Is anyone British? Yeah, so you do, you kind of, uh, we have a different relationship with alcohol, really. You do, you grow up with all these phrases which make you feel like drinking is basically, fun, in any situation, is acceptable. You know, you probably have some of these phrases here. Beer before wine, you should be fine. Uh, wine before beer, what is it? You should be fine. Uh, two bottles of wine, crying and masturbating in a travel lodge, fine. Yeah. I always thought that was a strange phrase, that one, but, uh, yeah. Sorry, some of you look concerned. That's probably not how I should. That was. I'm just, it's all fine. It's a joke. <laughs> Travel lodge. I've got some pride. Yeah, I have I, uh, I am. You've got a really infectious laugh there. It won't show up on TV, but you laugh a lot like a guinea pig. <laughs> or like, um, or like it's, it's a really like shrill noise, like a rodent. That's really nice. It's, um, it could be better. As, as a front row member, you couldn't be better. You know, can you hear it? It's so. It's so high pitched. Uh, it's amazingly high pitched. It's, a, it's, it's, it's the best impression by a human of a hamster I've seen. And, um, <laughs> this is. Yeah, uh, this is really unprofessional because they can't put this on TV because they won't be able to replicate her noise on TV. Um, but uh, it doesn't really matter because in 100 years we're all dead. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> only in Australia would people applaud that sentiment, I think. <laughs> Yeah, death! Well done, mate! I, um... <laughs> Australians are so upbeat. How does it... Where? Especially Melbourne. Christ, I've never been in such a positive city. It must be the coffee. Where I'm drinking booze, you're basically having coffee. There. I, I know this is probably uh, something of a stereotype, uh, uh, but the Melbourne's obsession with coffee is at a critical level now, I think. It is unbelievable. <laughs> you want to come and grab a coffee? Uh, I'm drinking a coffee now. I think we are. That's great. Bring it along. Yeah, um... <laughs> And, um, I mean, I like coffee, but I just can't match up to the level that people drink it out here. So I'm very much, um, very much booze for me. Um, it was, it's been, it's been a problem. There was a period where I was, um, f there's not really a word for it, but like a shopaholic, but with booze. Uh, I, um, <laughs> it's nice when some people laugh at that joke. I researched it for a year. Uh, um, it cost me a year of my life. It's difficult, it's, uh, um, I was a, I mean, I'm joking about it now because I'm all right, but uh, I, there was a period where I was having like a... Thank you. I, uh, <laughs> we can't... The laughter's really good, but you're not really working as a team. You know, um, you know all chipping in at different points. There's someone over there that's more or less a complete freelancer, I think. It's just like, um, you know... I, uh... Yeah, I drank, I drank a bit too much. Um... Yeah, I, There was a period where I was, I was having like nearly a bottle of wine per show, just so that I could face going on stage. And I would do that religiously. Um, and by religiously, I mean without really thinking it through. Uh, and so, um, <laughs> it, um, uh, look at you, clapping that, barely five days after he rose from the grave. You <laughs> absolute bloody heathen. Um, I nearly swore there. I nearly used the F word, but this is ABC. This is serious stuff. You can't swear. It's funny, really. I, I, was, I tend not to swear that much on stage, but um, I, I've known people get really offended by it. It's odd that any word can be sort of intrinsically ruder than another word, because they're all just words, aren't they? You know, the, the C word, is ten, that tends to be people's cut-off point, but um, it's no different, really, from saying frisbee. <laughs> you know, so, um, uh, of course, the context makes a huge difference. I had a bit of a uh, <laughs> mix-up in a, a park once. But, uh, you see what I mean? Uh, it's just, um... <laughs> this has been, yeah, quite a release for me. It's not easy, 
It's not easy talking about how you're feeling, is it? I mean, every day someone asks you, especially in Melbourne, it's relentless. How are you? How are you going? How are you? It's everywhere. How are you? But you, you, we all know you're not meant to tell people. You're meant to say, yeah, I'm great. I'm good. If, if you say crushed by the everyday, uh, uh, people will be like, oh, oh that's it. have a coffee, man. You know, like, uh, and, and nearly, you know, most times in your life you talk about how you're feeling, people don't want to know the genuine answer. In Target, when they say, did you find everything you were looking for today? They just mean within Target. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you say, no, inner peace continues to elude me. Like, oh, we've got some shorts on special. How's that? Um, yeah. well, you, you've heard more than enough about me, I think. Um, I think I've got... I don't, I don't really have a, a grip on the, on the timings of the gig because of, um, well, because of various issues which feed into other issues that I've discussed. <laughs> I, I, I just talk until it becomes untenable. But I, I think I am meant to go. And it's best as well when it's short. Always leave them wanting more. That's what my uncle used to say. Leave them wanting more. That's how he lost his job in disaster relief. <laughs> but it does... Um, it's a... So I think that's me. Uh, I'm Mark Watson. Thanks, guys! Hey!